Thank you. I'm Imango Akpabio. I'm currently based in the United Kingdom, uh, University of Dundee, uh, working on a project, European Union project, trying to understand how scientists and policymakers relate in framing water policies in sub-Saharan Africa, especially the politics, the economics, and quite a number of cultural issues around it. I'm a Nigerian. I work in the University of Uyu. Uh, I've done my career span quite a lot in water issues. Work in Germany, work in Japan, and all these matters. But uh, this conf this particular meeting, Water Lab, is very very important. And as a member of the network, I needed to be here physically. And the invitation of our Esteban, which is very very important, and uh, issue the main theme of intersection of water uh, in terms of race, uh, culture, ethnicity. I think there is a point, I made a paper in collaboration with the colleagues, uh, one from Kyoto University and one from Nigeria. Uh, we focus on these issues in sub-Saharan Africa, which of course you see access to water services mostly shaped by uh, uh, the ideas people have around it, uh, the politics, the class you belong, economic circumstances. For instance, quite a number of other years, I've done a lot of work on cultural issues of water, especially if you see uh, where people live, uh, determining the way, their perception of water around there, which also influence the way access is uh, gained and the sanitation aspect. In fact, in my last discussion yesterday, I tried and, and, and relate, I brought this discussion of this kind of issues are highly gendered and specialized. It's very, very important. And if you look at sub-Saharan Africa, a number of issues surround this. For instance, uh, people in low-income countries having challenges accessing water services. And uh, people in high-income countries, they have the resources to come and get the technology, the influence, politics, and everything. But the problem here also is that the public public policies, government tend to deviate and go into focusing on reminding so much on the neoliberal perspective of governing water, which tend to marginalize the poor very much. And so when you bring neoliberal politics into the whole matter, the issue is you ask people to pay for water, which is an essential services. And if you go to some areas, where you have a lot of cultural issues around it. They will resist it. And some who do not have the money will have challenges. And you compromise sanitation, you compromise hygiene, you bring a lot of challenges, problems. You bring, introduce some politics, some protest into it. So this kind of thing would hardly work in such a situation. I understand in Latin America, this kind of thing has been happening. Uh, for instance, I, I read about Bolivia kind of protests in those kind of days which still fresh. That's why I want to try and open up my collaboration with the Latin American colleagues, which is very, very important. So in all summary, this uh, meeting is very, very important. And as I discussed with Esteban, the main coordinator, we try, especially using the worship PP I'm doing, to see how to bring the conversation and dialogue, extend it to Sub-Saharan Africa. That collaboration with, between South-South, South-South, that is horizontal, Latin America, Africa, will be very, very important in trying to bring this uh, matter into a kind of, aggregate it into a kind of an issue that, that will be put across at a global level. Especially UN meeting, you confront police, the politics, the system, and say, this is what works for some people, for the, the ordinary people, not the kind of imposition that is coming around. So that you make sure people who don't have the resources have the basic uh, service of uh, the, the opportunity of having water and also having sanitation and also having a gym. So for me, it's very, very important. I also want to use this opportunity and thank the organizers because it's been very, very useful, very interesting. I've met uh, some friends, uh, the Mexican colleagues, and I've met uh, a number of colleagues from different Chile, uh, Colombia, Brazil, so many of them. So for me, it's a big company that 
will lead to further collaboration in the future. So I really thank the organizers very well, and I, I quite gain a lot. I hope the deliberations here will influence international law politics on this. Thank you very much.